What's up, Carnival Spirits? It's TJ, and I know all of you have been enjoying the aftermath of the Dr. Phil episode featuring ICP, uh, who called in like via Skype to uh, give their two cents on the rapper who goes by the name King Crimson. You know, since that episode aired nationwide, Dr. Phil, King Crimson has taken it upon himself to, you know, go on this rampage of shit talking against ICP and Juggalos who have been uh, taking shots at him for comments that he's made, allegations that have been made about him, you know, just the sheer fact that Dr. Phil has uh, kind of put him and his wife on blast for the failure of putting his family in, in, in debt and to, to pursue a rap career, which is his dream. But on the flip side of that coin, you know, ICP has gone on the record to say that he doesn't have talent. And for example, Shaggy Two Dope said that, you know, he, he lost them at that, at the whole like beating your wife thing, which which it's very strange to me that King Crimson would be so proud of of going on you know national television and kind of allowing himself to be exposed in in all these ways, but yet then flipping it and saying that it's not real, it's staged, but then also you know claiming to be thoroughly upset at ICP for what, throwing shade at him in this supposedly staged uh, episode of Dr. Phil? So it's really hard to know what's real and what isn't real, what's true and what's fake as fuck. You've probably seen King Crimson on a CPN show where he kind of came across like like a cool, collected, you know, horror fan, uh, you know, came up as a juggalo, attended old ICP shows back in the day, Ringmaster era. And for some reason, he thinks that because he was an early supporter of ICP and has, uh, you know, performed at the gathering a couple of times, that this somehow has earned him the respect of psychopathic, of, of ICP, or of anyone. Now, even though he says that he doesn't uh, consider himself a good rapper by any means, he, he literally said he knows he sucks. But it's all about that live show. And, and I can agree with that. I would say that if somebody puts on a dope live show, that right there is, is the main ingredient, you know, to be an entertainer. But when you're in the arena of making rap music, I would say that if, you're, if your music sucks, it, it's not going to be uh, to your benefit as, as a career rapper to not have music that's listenable. And I like rap, but I am picky with my tastes in rap. I like some artists and other artists I don't care for. I don't feel it necessary to troll and talk shit about the artists I don't care for. If I don't care for them, I don't care. Oftentimes, you'll see people pulling out the torches, getting ready to bombard these rappers that they hate. And it ends up backfiring and, and, and blows up the rapper's image because you're, you're giving them so much attention. So right now, we're in the midst of King Crimson's 15 minutes of fame. And he's going back and forth on YouTube, battling the likes of Chuck Reeves and Crazy McCormick and even CPN to an extent. Although CPN is rooting for this guy. And... In a way, I'm indifferent as fuck. I, I don't care if he becomes successful or not. That's not what's going to make me a fan of him. You know, his success is not going to impress me when I'm over here thinking, well, he's already admitted to, you know, beating his wife, being disrespectful, like taking money from his mom's, uh, you know, all this stuff about uh, ripping off his own fans with merch. I, I don't know what to believe in what's true. I don't know what isn't true. But what I do know is that Juggalos are having a field day with this guy. You know, there may come a time when he accepts 
the hate for what it is and rises above it and continues to grind and, and put out the music that he wants to put out, you know, live his life, follow his passions, or he's going to turn into another social media bickering back and forth you know, getting angry at everybody who's crossing his path with a criticism and and being a, a magic ninja nut rider while fucking talking shit about ICP at the same time. I don't know what he's going to do and I don't know what's going to happen. But what I do know is this. <laughs> the ninjas over at Corpse Circus have completely owned King Crimson. And what I mean by that is they literally have purchased the website, the, the domain, kingcrimson.com. So when you go to kingcrimson.com, it automatically redirects you to corpsecircus.com. <laughs> That's got to hurt. If you don't know who Corpse Circus is, I don't listen to their music, but I know who they are. One of the dudes, his name is Killator. <laughs> Sorry if I don't pronounce your name correctly. Uh, Killator is an artist who is very well known for Juggalo-influenced graphics, such as the Joker's Card Corpse Circus series. Uh, as you can see, this guy's pretty talented. And he's also, you know, made an attempt to poke fun at Psychopathic and ICP for their continued efforts to cash in on the legacy of the Dark Carnival Joker's Card series, the second deck. When Lost and Found, the marvelous missing link came out, <laughs> Killator had this meme circulating around the internet. So uh, this is one of those cases where Old school juggalos no longer interested in playing nice, you know, going up against them in certain ways uh, will get them more attention than than showing love. So I'll chalk it all up as trolling, and they clearly are fans. But in the 21st century, 2018, there's a thin line between a fan and a stan, a hater and a dick rider, and it seems like depending on which way the wind blows. Any given individual or artist could be perceived as uh, either or. I just thought it was really funny that KingCrimson.com has been purchased by Corp Circus, and anyone who's trying to find uh, King Crimson on the internet is probably going to get redirected eventually to this other underground rap outfit. And that's all I have to say about that. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Make sure you guys check out our most recent Ringmaster Bloody Birthday video with the Juggalo submitted slideshow, fresh as fuck. Stay tuned for an epic video put together by Cali Green 2 Fresh and more surprises from Carnival Spirits. You guys are awesome. I'm Beastmaster. Make sure you check out CarnivalSpirits.com and always remember to fuck the fuck off, motherfuckers. See you.